I got to go back to Detroit, bro, because a lot of people was heartbroken about this game. I was kind of heartbroken about this game, bro. But the Lions, they allowed the largest comeback ever in a conference championship game history. This was insane. The 49ers, they became the first team to come back from down 17 points and actually win the ball game. Now, here's the thing. Lions flat out choked. It ain't no way around it. It ain't no way to sugarcoat it. It ain't no way to make it sound like they did a good job. They choked. They was up 17 points going into halftime. And then that third quarter hit, they started folding like tissue. And fourth quarter hit, they lost all the momentum. And the game was over at that point. It was done for. Now, we did see a couple of bad calls. But before I get into those uh, a bad fourth down calls and, and uh, stuff like that and the drop passes, all of that, which I'll touch on in a second, the first thing I want to do is give kudos to the 49ers, bro. Because everything that the Lions did great that first half, meaning they ran the ball great, they passed the ball great, they defended well, they blocked well, all of those different things that they did great, they completely stopped doing. And for some reason, the San Francisco 49ers caught that bug that made them play great and do everything the Lions was doing great in the first half, but they just decided to do it in the second half. So it was crazy to me to witness that and witness that that switch that the 49ers flipped on because, man, that's second half they started throwing the ball a lot better they was catching the ball a lot better Debo Samuel got an open space but uh, Christian McCaffrey got got a lot of good runs eight yard gains nine yard gains seven yard gains got some great runs in there the defensive line was on it the offensive line was on it I mean it was pure dominance bro this entire second half so I I I, hey, I I wouldn't be right if I didn't call it how I seen it and give credit to the 49ers. So despite the loss, and even if you are upset about Detroit losing, you have to acknowledge how great of, uh, of a football game the 49ers ended up playing in that second half of the game, bro. Because they balled out. They did their thing. Absolutely did their thing. Now, here's the thing, too. I got to give credit to Brock Purdy. Now, <laughs> if, you, if you've been listening, you know I've been kind of giving Brock Purdy a hard time. I said Brock Purdy was not that guy, meaning the guy you really have to make a game plan for. But I want to give Brock Purdy all of his flowers right now. He deserves every petal, every rose petal, every color. That man deserves his flowers, bro. Brock Purdy balled out. I have nothing bad to say about Brock Purdy after watching this game against the Lions, bro, because I doubted him. I said put a lot of pressure on him, and this time the Lions did put a lot of pressure on him. But what did Brock Purdy do? He decided, you know what? Okay, y'all going to bring some pressure on me? I'm going to slip through here, and I'm going to use my legs to pick up this first down. Time after time, he did this. Man, it was marvelous to watch. And then when they gave him time, when the Lions didn't bring pressure and Brock Purdy was able to sit back there in the pocket, what did we witness him do? Dot, 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 dot. That man was, he was putting it on the money, bro. He was putting it on the money. I got to give credit where it's due. And hey, man, I have nothing bad to say about Brock Purdy after this game, bro. That man did his thing. He definitely earned a lot more respect out of me because I did Brock Purdy wrong. And, and for y'all San Francisco 49ers fans, because I know it's a couple of y'all, y'all got on me on social media when I went live after the game. I'll say this. Let me cut the music too. I'll say this. I apologize, all right? I apologize for dogging Brock Purdy out and claiming that he wasn't that guy because he showed me otherwise. And if he keeps this up, I mean, you definitely got to put a lot more respect on his name. I never said he was a bad quarterback. I never said Brock Purdy was bad. I always knew he was good. But damn it, from, from me claiming he was an average quarterback or your average Joe type of quarterback to what I seen against the Lions, completely different story.